Welcome to a special preview of Master English Conversation version 2.0. To learn more about this powerful speaking success video course, click on the button at the top of this video. Enjoy! Well, hello and welcome to your very first lesson in the new Master English Conversation version 2.0. Oh, I'm really excited to change things around to make the program even better. I've been thinking a lot lately, uh, actually for a very long time, in fact, as I've been talking with subscribers and friends and students about how to make the program better. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what you think about this lesson and the other three video lessons that you'll get uh, in this month's lesson set. So let's get into it. First, just a very quick introduction to how the new lesson set works so you understand everything. The first lesson set is this one. This is the grammar lesson and you will really get to focus on one specific grammar point but we will use our kind of time traveling lesson so you can practice it in many different ways. The way the new Master English Conversation version 2.0 will work is we'll have the conversation last. I really want to prepare you for the native English by practicing individual things first. So we'll go over grammar, pronunciation, phrases, other things like that, and we will teach you through the three first video lessons all about what you need to know in order to prepare you for the real conversation that happens in the masterclass video. So the final masterclass video lesson will have the conversation and the special mission homework assignment together. So for this lesson we will focus on the grammar. The way the grammar lesson will work from now on in the new version 2.0 is that I will introduce a grammar point that you will see a lot of in the conversation. So basically I have conversations with friends of mine and I go back over the conversation and find something that appears a lot and it could be tricky. So I take that and then introduce it first. So we practice the grammar, you can see how the grammar works, you can really get better and understand the grammar, and then when you're watching the actual conversation, you'll hear, ah, I remember that, I remember that from the grammar lesson. And it will be the same thing for the fluency corner lesson and also the phrase practicing phrase builder lesson. So all three of these lessons, you will work on individual skills and then you will be ready for the real conversation and you can really enjoy it much, much more. All right, let's begin. This month in the Masterclass video lesson, you will see a conversation and I really want you to listen to a specific grammar point. And this grammar point is four things that are very similar, but the meaning is a little bit different. So we will go through all four of these individually and you will understand how to use them in conversations. The coach has his team listen to a new basketball game play. The coach has authority and the team has no choice, but the coach is nice and polite. This girl wants to talk on the phone. She doesn't want to clean up her toys. Her grandfather is older and much bigger, but he gently has the girl clean up her toys. To be a bit stronger with children, you can make them clean their room. Also, you can have someone do a simple task if you're kind and nice. Have him buy milk. This coach is angry. His players are not listening, so he's making them do push-ups. The players have no choice. They are being made to do push-ups. Respectfully, you have someone do something. Forcefully, you make someone do something. I'm not making you watch this video. It's your choice. This man is feeding his dogs. He chooses to feed his dogs and he's making them wait. The dogs have no choice. They want to eat, but the man makes them wait. Now he's letting the dogs eat. He's giving permission to the dogs. I wanted to play basketball, so I asked a team if I could practice with them. 
They said, okay, they let me play. They chose to let me practice with them. A girl was playing a game, but her brother wanted to play. She was very nice and let him play the game. It was her choice to let him play. A boy wanted to watch TV, but his grandfather wanted him to do homework. The boy did not want to do his homework. The grandfather asked the boy nicely to do his homework, but the boy kept watching TV. The boy didn't listen, so the grandfather got the boy to do his homework with money. The grandfather paid the boy and got him to do his homework. You can get someone to do something by asking, paying, or even tricking them. It's the other person's choice, so you have to get them to do something however you can. I got the boy and the girl to help me make these videos by giving them lots of candy. Now, listen for examples of get, let, have, and make used in a native English story. This story will be told in three different tenses. The first tense will be the past. Listen carefully. My boss had me travel to Kyoto for business, so I couldn't fix our washing machine. My wife wasn't upset, but she made me promise to bring back her favorite snack. During my trip, I got my friend to take me to the aquarium. He had special tickets and let me go with him. The new aquarium was really interesting, and the dolphin show was great. The trainers made the dolphins do many different tricks. They got the dolphins to perform with fish. The dolphins were made to jump and swim, and they even talked. In the middle of the show, the trainers got two women from the audience to participate. The announcer let the two women come on the stage and had them introduce themselves. Then the trainers let the women shake hands with a dolphin. I was really surprised that the dolphin let the women do that. Here's the same story happening in the present. My boss is having me travel to Kyoto for business, so I can't fix our washing machine. My wife isn't upset, but she's making me promise to bring back her favorite snack. During my trip, I'm getting my friend to take me to the aquarium. He has special tickets and is letting me go with him. The new aquarium is really interesting, and the dolphin show is great. The trainers make the dolphins do many different tricks. They get the dolphins to perform with fish. The dolphins are made to jump and swim, and they even talk. In the middle of the show, the trainers get two women from the audience to participate. The announcer lets the two women come on the stage and has them introduce themselves. Then the trainers let the women shake hands with a dolphin. I'm really surprised that the dolphin is letting the women do that. Here's the same story happening in the future. My boss will have me travel to Kyoto for business, so I won't be able to fix our washing machine. My wife won't be upset, but she'll make me promise to bring back her favorite snack. During my trip, I'll get my friend to take me to the aquarium. He'll have special tickets and will let me go with him. The new aquarium will be really interesting and the dolphin show will be great. The trainers will make the dolphins do many different tricks. They'll get the dolphins to perform with fish. The dolphins will be made to jump and swim, and they'll even talk. 
In the middle of the show, the trainers will get two women from the audience to participate. The announcer will let the two women come on the stage and have them introduce themselves. Then the trainers will let the women shake hands with a dolphin. I'll be really surprised that the dolphin lets the women do that. Here come the questions. Did the announcer make the women come on the stage or let them come on the stage? She let them. She allowed them to come on the stage. They had a choice and were asked. The trainers made the dolphins swim, right? Yes, they did. You can use have here to sound more polite though. Did the dolphins let the trainers ride on their backs? Nope, the dolphins did not let the trainers ride on their backs. Did the announcer have the two women eat fish? No, she didn't. She had them introduce themselves. How did the trainers get the dolphins to jump? The trainers got the dolphins to jump with fish. They got the dolphins to jump by giving them fish. Practice using let, get, have, and make in your conversations and listen for them in this month's Masterclass video lesson. Have a great day.